Welcome back guys. So I wanted to sneak in a video right before Thanksgiving to wish you guys a happy Thanksgiving if you guys are celebrating it. Um, so I had every intention of like doing a mini Thanksgiving series like this week. It should have already been up, but life happened and I wasn't able to do those videos. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to show you guys what I'm actually doing for Thanksgiving to prepare. Today I have a little Costco haul for you guys. So my husband made me a cup of coffee, you guys. Nespresso has these limited edition coffee pods. These are the festive collection from Nespresso. And I think this kit is sold out, but you can still buy the pods individually. And I've tried two out of three. So let me just show you guys which one is better. There's this one, which is like a coconut flavor. And that's the one that I'm drinking right now. It's not bad. It's like coconut, but it's, it's a little too much for me. If I'm gonna have a flavored coffee, I wanted to have just like a hint of the flavor. Um, and then there's this one. Look how beautiful these are though. So this one is macaroon flavor. This one, you guys, is so good. It tastes like coffee, but then at the end, it has a little bit of like a pistachio macaroon type of flavor to it. It is amazing. Like even my husband loves it. So I think I'm gonna order a few more of these sleeves. And then there's this one, which is just the espresso one. But like, look how beautiful the packaging is for this. Like. This is gonna look so pretty for my little hot cocoa station that I'm gonna set up for the holidays. I'll probably just have these out instead of putting them away like I normally do. But yeah, I wanted to let you guys know in case you do have an espresso machine and you wanna order these, I wouldn't wait because they're limited edition and they're probably gonna sell out. Speaking of my Nespresso, I wanted to show you guys which one I use because I get asked all the time. So this is the Verturo line, I believe. Um, I think this is just like their basic one. You can make both espresso and coffee in it. This is the first thing we picked up. I wanna put it away. It's a pumpkin harvest cheesecake. And it looked really good. And it's enough for like a lot of people. It was $14.99. We have about 12 to 14 people coming. So I feel like this is gonna be plenty. Although we're also picking up a pecan pie from Whole Foods. If you guys have never had the pecan pie from Whole Foods, you have to try it. It is seriously the best pecan pie that I've ever, like store bought, that I've ever had. So we're gonna be picking that up. I think I did share this with you guys on Instagram, but my mom is not, she's not gonna be here for Thanksgiving. She's in Panama right now. So we are, she usually makes the ham. She also makes some Panamanian side dishes. Like she'll make um, coconut rice and like uh, sweet plantains and like a few other sides so we're one man short it's just me and my mother-in-law that are going to be cooking so um, to help with the workload we are actually not going to be making the turkey we are we ordered a fried turkey which I'm really excited because we had fried turkey like three or four years ago I want to say and it was so amazing and um, I believe my mother-in-law is making a ham and then I'm going to be making everything else with the exception of the stuff that I'm showing you guys. Also, excuse the mess that I have in the background. It's probably like super distracting, but yeah. I'm gonna be making my green bean casserole, which I get requested to make like every single year. I'm also gonna be making um, mashed potatoes, which you can't have Thanksgiving without mashed potatoes and gravy, right? And I'm gonna be making the gravy as well. I also really wanted to have mac and cheese, but I knew like I was gonna have way too many things in the oven going already. So I found this at Costco. It's called the world's best mac and cheese. I don't know if it really is the world's best mac and cheese, but I feel like if it really wasn't, Costco wouldn't carry it. It's probably all in my head. Anyways, I bought two of these because this says it serves nine to six to nine people. If any of you guys have tried this, um, let me know down in the comments. So yeah, that mac and cheese, you just pop it in the oven. So I'm also going to be making balsamic tomatoes. So I found this little tomato medley at Costco and it's got like all of these beautiful colors. So I love that this is just gonna look really nice um, in its own bowl. We also got a ton of eggs because we're gonna be making deviled eggs. That's like a staple for our Thanksgiving. We have to have deviled eggs. We make it like different ways. I love my sister's deviled eggs. So I asked her if she's gonna be making it this year, but she just got a new job in another Date. So yeah, oh, for appetizers, I also got um, this cranberry cinnamon goat cheese. This is so good, you guys. Like you just need crackers with this. Let me show you the crackers I got. I always get these from Costco because it's just like a bunch of different like crackers and this is great for parties and it's a lot. So you'll like, you probably won't run out. So I'm also gonna be making bacon wrapped dates and I'm gonna stuff them with cream cheese. So I did pick up the dates at Costco. This doesn't have the price either. I don't know how much it is. And I also got this giant tub of cream cheese because I feel like I can use this for so many different things. I'm gonna be able to use this for the dates and also 
if I want to make like a fruit dip, I can do that with this. Just add some powdered sugar and some whipped cream to it and it makes a really awesome dip. You guys, this is a must from Costco. They're pickled jalapenos. Like we probably buy like two of these a year because they're so good. Like they're spicy, but not like super, super spicy. But I'm gonna be using this for the corn dip that I'm making. So, and then I'm just gonna have it like as a garnish if anybody wants to eat it. I have to do a cheese board every single year. So this year, I'm gonna be adding these little, I don't know how to pronounce that, but they have like prosciutto. They're like wrapped around mozzarella. And I love that it comes assembled already, so it's just a lot less work for me. And then I also got this um, parm um, cheddar cheese to add to the cheese board. Giant thing of grapes gonna be really pretty in the cheese board as well they also had a really good deal on the green beans i don't remember exactly how much they were but it was a good deal because you get two pounds of green beans so i'm gonna be using like one and a half bags to feed like 12 to 14 people um, and they're organic it's so hard to find these raw and organic costco also had the crispy onions in this giant bag which is awesome normally i have to buy like a bunch of those small cans this is going to be for my green bean casserole i like to add these little onions in the casserole and also on top to like make everything crispy this is the butter that we like the Kerrygold butter this is so good like if you guys eat butter try this it tastes amazing like i love having like warm toast with this butter it just tastes so good and then we got cranberry sauce for the stuffing and just for the thanksgiving dinner this is a really good sized jar though Oh, and then I found this. This is red, red jalapeno glaze, and it just sounded so good. Like I'm not a huge turkey lover. I do, I just don't really care for turkey, but I also don't like cranberry sauce. So I know a lot of people like to put that cranberry sauce in the turkey. Uh, so I thought this would be a good alternative for people to try with their turkey. So I'm gonna serve this and the cranberry sauce like side by side. It just look really good or i could always just make like a little um cheese dip with the cream cheese and then put this on top that would be really good too and we also got two giant bags of chips one is just like himalayan um kettle chips like the ruffle kind and just a giant bag of tortilla chips because i got this white queso this is good like to eat with chips but this is also good to top your food off with my uh my mother-in-law usually brings like tamales and this goes really good on top of the tamales so we'll probably have that with that as well this is a hatched green chili cheddar dip i had never seen this before but it looks pretty interesting i think you probably warm this up and that would go good with the ruffle chips i love having stuff like this because you know like after we have thanksgiving dinner we always have like board games and things like that and then i like putting out like chips and things to like munch on while we're playing games and this one i was really excited because i've been dying to try this i see this at costco every time we go but i'm like you know what we're never gonna eat this it's too much so this was like the perfect time to get this it's got like all different kinds of olives i think it, and it also has like little like pickles in it so yeah it just looked really really good so i'm gonna be adding this to our cheese board just like getting a little bowl of it and it'll be good to munch on and the last thing we got was a sack of potatoes i think this giant thing was like 4.99 like really good deal for all these potatoes of course that's gonna be for the mashed potatoes so i think that's pretty much it i still have to go to heb to pick up a few things like um just like cream um bacon <laughs> like costco had bacon but it was like four packs or five packs that you had to buy and that was just way too much because i just need it for the dates and i don't want to have any leftover because i know it won't get used but yeah that is um pretty much it. i feel like it doesn't seem like i'm making a lot because i'm just making the sides and like the appetizers but i feel like i'm gonna have my work cut out for me so my sisters are coming over they're gonna help me prep everything the day before so that we're not scrambling the day of and then I'm also gonna have uh, a little like picture station set up in front of the Christmas tree so we can take um, Christmas pictures with our family. So I told them to dress up so I can have those done. Also you guys, I got new dishes. So these dishes back here, um, I'm going to be giving all of those to my sister. She just moved into a new apartment and um, she doesn't have anything. So I had my eye on this set of dishes. These are the new dishes that I got. These are from also from Crate and Barrel, but I love the shape of them I wanted these dishes for so long they're like a lot flatter as you can tell um and i did get the larger and the smaller size because the smaller size is a lot smaller than a regular standard size and i knew that was not going to cut it especially for thanksgiving and the silverware is all from world market i've showed you guys this before but it's got kind of like a like a very 
like a twig type of. And I also got the bowls, which I don't think I'm gonna need these for Thanksgiving because now that I think about it, I'm not serving soup. But I did wanna show you guys what it looks like. I did order a tablecloth for the whole table. It's gonna be white, but it's not here yet. So um, pretend like the tablecloth is on here. I did put this down so you guys can kind of get an idea of what it would look like, but I'm not gonna have this on the table because obviously this is way too soft and flimsy. Um, but yeah, this is what my tablescape is gonna look like. I have my two plates that I'm gonna be using, just a plain white napkin. I don't know why this lighting is making my plates look blue or green, but they're white. And then I have my silverware and my glass. So I love these type of glasses because you can use them for wine, water, um, because of the shape, you can literally use them for everything. And then in the middle, I just have a little chocolate. I just thought it looked really cute. It's a nice little inviting touch. Um, and these are the chocolates that I got from Costco. So I'm gonna be putting one on everybody's plate. So yeah, you guys can get an idea of what it's gonna look like. And then I'm gonna have my centerpiece that I've showed you guys before um, in my previous video. Maybe I will, you know what? Once I do it, I set it all up, I will just post a picture on Instagram or do like the Insta stories for you guys. Um, also, I just wanted to share this with you. I know I get questions about wine all the time. So this is a really good affordable, it's like $15 per bottle. It's a really good Pinot Noir. It's um, not super expensive, but you're still gonna get a really nice quality red wine. So here is another wine recommendation. This is around $50, so it's a little bit of a higher price point, uh, but it's a really good red wine as well. And if you're looking for something a little bit nicer, definitely recommend this one although I don't think we got this one at Costco because it's been sitting in our in our wine fridge so while we're here I'm gonna show you guys the games that we like to play um, I am obsessed with playing board games and these are some of my favorite so this one cards against humanity this is a I would definitely recommend this um, with like your friends definitely not around your parents because this game can get a little crazy especially once you've been a couple of um, drinks in with your friends this is a really fun one so this is my all-time favorite game this is called scategories and i believe you can have yeah two to six players so everybody will get like a list like this um and you have 12 different categories right we got a brand new one for thanksgiving you guys that's how serious we are about this game because our last one had like missing pieces so everybody gets the same list and you see it within the list there's different categories and somebody has to like roll the dice and let's say it lands on l you have i think it's one or two minutes until the timer goes off to list a word that starts with that letter for every category and it gets really intense you guys because it's like you can hear the timer ticking away for like a minute or two minutes and then at the end you just count up your points and it's just funny to see what people come up with um, words and then you know somebody has like a word that you're not sure if it's actually a word or if it's creative the whole team can vote on it so yeah this is a really fun game for all ages highly highly recommend it it gets really really competitive um, then we are Panamanian, as you guys know. So we do like dominoes and dominoes is fun. Dominoes is only a four player game. So usually we'll have like somebody playing dominoes in one table and then everybody else can kind of play something else. So this is another one that we absolutely love and we kind of reserve this one for Thanksgiving because it takes forever. I'm sure you guys know, uh, have played Monopoly before, but um, I actually, we bought this last year over at Home Goods. It's really nice. It's wooden uh, because we play it every year and it's got like the little velvet and all of that. I'm always looking for new board games. So comment down below what your favorite board game is. So you, if you guys have one that you play with your family, definitely let me know. Yeah guys, I think that is everything I have to share with you. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoy this impromptu video. I hope you guys have an amazing Thanksgiving with your family. By the way you guys, if I do have any of the recipes that I talked about in this video already filmed, like if I did them in the previous years, they will be down below. Like I think I've done a recipe on like the bacon wrap dates, also like the deviled egg. I know for sure I have a video showing you guys how I put together my cheese boards and then like a ton of other entertainment type of videos So all of that will be down below if you guys need some inspiration um, And yeah, now I'm gonna let you guys go. <laughs> Talk to you guys next time. Bye